Now, this is, when it comes to clothing, this is really the passage that um, we need to address where there's a law in the Old Testament that says, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So pretty clear what that's saying, that a woman should not wear men's clothing and a, and a man should not wear woman's clothing. Um, and if you do, you're an abomination. Now, that might seem like a simple principle at first, but obviously what comes off from this is a lot of discussion because um, people obviously have different opinions on what this means. I'm just going to talk about that today. But, you know, one thing is clear, what, what we can get from this principle is that God wants men to wear men's clothes and he wants women to wear women's clothes. So, obviously, cross-dressing is a sin. You know, if you're wearing women's clothes as a man or if you're wearing man's clothes as a, as a woman. And, you know, when we talked about modesty and Im immodest apparel, we talked about times where, you know, you might go to, like, say, a wedding and put on nice clothing. Or you might go to, a, like, say, a fancy dress party and wear fancy clothes. But obviously, if you went to a fancy dress party, I think it would be a sin if you went in women's clothing. Like if you cross-dress at a fancy dress party, that uh, is not only is it immodest, you know, but you could say, well, it's right in that scenario because it's a fancy dress party. Um, but I would say it'd be a sin because you'd actually be breaking this, this verse. But really the question that needs to be answered when it comes to this verse is what is then men's clothing and what is women's clothing? Right? Because we can make the principle and say, well, a man shouldn't put on women's clothing and a woman shouldn't put on men's clothing. But then we need to define those terms. What, what is men's clothing and what is women's clothing? And this is where the, the definite commandment, when, in, when it's applied in principle, it's a bit of a, a grayer area. And we'll talk about that in a second. Now, what men's clothing and what women's clothing are is not defined in this passage. So you can see in Deuteronomy 22.5, there's no definition of what men's clothing and what, what, what women's clothing are. So it doesn't tell you what pertains unto a man. And it doesn't tell you what a woman's garment is. So whilst we get the command not to put on a woman's garment as a man, it doesn't define in the Bible what a woman's garment is. Neither does it define what a man's garment is for a woman. So that's something important to take note of. And you know what? I don't believe... You know, and if you believe you can, show me a verse in the Bible. I don't think you can prove dogmatically from the Bible any explicit definition of what a man's garment is and what a woman's garment is. There is no scripture in the Bible that says this is a man's garment and this is a woman's garment. We are just given the command not to put on a woman's garment, not to put on a man's garment. So therefore, I believe any dogmatic position when it comes to somebody saying this is a man's garment is, is purely its opinion. You know, it's culture, it's, uh, it's bias, it's uh, um, tradition. Because if you're not getting it from the Bible, then that's all it is, right? All it is, is it's an opinion. It, it's, it's a conviction that you've built from, you know, other things in the Bible uh, that maybe uh, you're using to come to your own conclusion. But, you know, if I'm going to be dogmatic about something, if I'm going to say, hey, this is a sin and it's a sin for you, not just a sin just for me, then I need a Bible verse. Right? You can't, you can't just give me a chart. You, know? you can't just give me an opinion. You can't just go to, to, social, to, to the culture and say, well, this is what everybody thinks and give me the majority. I mean, if you give me a chart to prove something dogmatic, I mean, the next thing you're going to be telling me is a pre-trib rapture is like true. Because you're going to show me some chart that, that shows that the rapture is after, uh, before seven-year tribulation. So, you know, I, I want a Bible verse if you're going to tell me something dogmatic. I don't want a chart. Now, I do admit, you know, hey, there, there are examples of men wearing pants in the Bible. And I'm not going to go to all these examples because you're probably familiar with them. Obviously, the breaches for the Levitical priests. Well, we see that Daniel, uh, Daniel's three friends, when they were thrown into the fiery furnace, they were thrown in with their hats, their coats, and their hosen, uh, which would be a type of pants. Um, and we see that, you know, there's the euphemism of covering your feet to go to the toilet. Now, now, one thing I want to say is, a pre this, and this is a, very, this is a very good principle, that a precedence does not equal commandment. Just because we see something done in the Bible, that is not a commandment. For example, you know, we see people having multiple wives. You know, we see that happening, but then that doesn't make it a commandment because we know the commandment is not to have multiple wives. We see a lot of things in the Bible that people do, but just because they do it, that doesn't mean we're commanded to do it that way. 
Um, so precedence does not equal command. Just because we see some verses showing that men wore some pants, or I don't even know if the breeches really were pants, because if you, if you look at uh, in Exodus 28, you know, I believe the, 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 the priests were wearing like a sort of dress looking garment, like a long robe, and the breeches were worn underneath. You know, we have the verse that Daniel's friends were wearing pants, but then that doesn't make it a man's garment. That doesn't make it, that doesn't mean that women didn't wear them either. Do you know what I mean? So just because the Bible mentions that men had pants doesn't mean that women wore them either. So precedence does not equal commandment. 